Hello, good morning. Again, welcome back for this discussion. The last class we discussed about the computer memory. So today I'm going to discuss another more extra more points about this computer memory. This computer memory, what is uh, just like a human brain, and the computer memory is divided into two part. One is your primary memory, and the another one is your secondary memory. So within the primary memory, again the primary memory is divided into two part: RAM and the ROM. RAM is again SRAM and the DRAM, static RAM and the dynamic RAM, and the ROM uh, divided into PROM, EEPROM, EEPROM. So let's discuss about what is the RAM, what is the ROM. RAM is known generally known as the random access memory, and ROM is known as the read-only memory. The RAM is acts as the primary memory, and ROM is also the primary memory. So though both are the primary memory, so what is the basic difference between RAM and ROM? Now ROM name is read-only memory. RAM is random access memory. Generally, RAM again is divided in acts as a primary memory, but ROM is not acts as a as a primary memory, but uh, it uh, is a non-volatile memory. But RAM is purely volatile memory. There are some important codes are placed within the ROM, like BIOS codes are there. When you boot up your computer, that means when a computer become, uh, when starts your computer. Some codes are retrieved from this read-only memory chip, ROM chip, and it helps to booting your computer or boots your computer. But in case of the RAM, random access memory, whatever the memory you are using when you start a computer, that is the RAM. It is divided into two type. One is your SRAM, one is your DRAM. Generally, whatever the RAM, whatever we are thinking, the RAM, there's a so, uh, your RAM card is there, no? So that is the RAM. That is the DRAM, dynamic RAM. So what is the SRAM? SRAM is the static RAM. What is the difference between SRAM and DRAM? SRAM is very costly compared to the DRAM. That's why SRAM is not used as a, the primary, as the main prim memory, primary memory. SRAM generally used as a catch memory, right? Catch memory, whatever I'm here writing, catch memory is used the catch memory. But if you want to move to the internal concept. That means SRAM. How it works? SRAM contains the transistors only. There's no capacitors, right now. So that though it consists of the transistors, so there is no auto erasable or auto refresh technique is not there. So though there is no auto refresh technique is there, so it is purely the static based chip or static memory. Right. So, whatever the DRAM, whatever we are using. Suppose I am writing in one sentence, there is some mistake. Again, I am immediately erase that thing. Then I write the uh, the correct thing. Na? Now it is possible because though you are using the DRAM or dynamic RAM within that RAM, there is two. One is one is your trans one uh, transistor in their memory cell. One transistor and one capacitor is there. Transistor is used to control the flow of the current, and capacitor, according to that, it will be charged. Right now, there is the capacitor. Capacitor that means uh, it uh, when the power is supplied, it will be charged. When the power supply is off, the auto is turned off, then it automatically start to discharge. That is the concept. Right now, so still, so it is that's why it is a volatile memory. That means when the power is on, that means power is supplied. A transistor is only there to control that thing. Your capacitor becomes chargeable, and the data will store within that, right? If power is one, that means power supply is off. Now the capacitor is not working. That means whatever the charge is there, it starts to discharge. Clear? No? So this is the concept. That's why it is known as the volatile memory. But in case of the ROM, is read-only memory. It is a non-volatile. Contents is only written by the vendor. Whatever the code is written, BIOS codes are written within that. It is not controlled by the user. Similar the RAM, like sorry, like the RAM. In the RAM, you are writing something and then uh, erase that thing again. You are writing something. But in case of the RAM, that is not allowed because you written once. That code is written by the vendor and reader only user sorry only machine or operating system is there who is only read that code. That is not allowed to manipulate or writing extra anything within that chip. So it is purely the non-volatile memory, right? Next is your uh, ROM is again uh, three types: PROM, programmable read-only memory; EEPROM, 
erasable programmable read only memory ee prom electrical erasable programmable read only memory so prom means programmable read only memory that means code is once written within that chip you can only read that code from that chip e prom means is your erasable programmable read only memory in this chip in this type of rom suppose you are writing the code that means the code is not written by the user i am repeatedly say rom is not allowed to write anything by the user in, within that chip is already written by the vendor by the developer by the designer of the computer whatever the codes but prom means once written it is not uh, uh, allowed to for the second type writing but in case of the e prom electrical programmable read only memory right now so erasable program read only memory you can erase that thing that means the vendor you can erase that thing and by using some ultraviolet light concept and again write the code e prom is a electrical erasable programmable read only memory here ultraviolet light concept is not used there it is only used the high voltage current electric field is used to erase that contents of that read on uh, rom right so that is the concept of the primary memory next what about the secondary memory the secondary memory having the number hard disk ssd is there compact uh, disk is there floppy disk is there magnetic tape is there this is the permanent storage area that means once uh, you use the save button in the computer data will immediately transfer to into the secondary memory area and it is purely non volatile in nature data is stored permanently whether is computer is working or not working if your uh, hard disk or compact disk or property or magnetic is tapes are okay then the data will safely placed within that area so that is known as the secondary memory concept so next uh, here what is the catch memory now catch memory is a memory the static memory you can say that memory is used to maintain the ball speed balance between the processor and the memory concept why now processor is the one only you in it its speed is very high compared to other units present within the computer so the speed of the memory that means sorry catch uh, your processor that means in which the speed to which the processor processing in that speed memory does not supply the data to the processor so that's why catch memory is a static memory which is used between the processor and the main memory whatever the data you are feeding through the input devices to the computer it immediate to the mem that will be stored in the main memory or in stored in the memory and that's copy of that memory is immediately transferred to the catch memory catch memory placed near about the processor so processor first starts to fetch the data and instruction from the catch memory then processing that data then so ret uh, return the data to the main memory if the processor fails to retrieve the data or accessing the data from the catch memory then it will move to the main memory sometimes main mem there is some problem in memory uh fails to supply the data to the catch in that case processor first uh, search the data in the catch memory if it fails then it will move to the main memory i'll discuss in the later so that is the catch memory concept okay so that is the about all the memory concept and the about catch memory primary memory and the secondary memory so about the um uh, another uh, your uh, difference between the primary memory and the secondary memory is that uh primary memory is the memory capacity is less compared to the main memory's capacity sorry compared to the secondary memory secondary memory but uh, its problem is that primary memory is purely volatile in nature that's a data uh stored temporarily within that memory so this much about the memory concept and discuss the next class the other concepts are there thank you to all